celebrate uh, the Mass today. We join Thanksgiving to the entire school, our school, as they celebrate the last day of school. So we offer the Mass for the teachers and for the students as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us one day to everlasting life. Amen. Today's Mass intentions are for Maria C. Pascal, Anthony, and Bertha Jonas' death anniversary. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice and travel in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Tobit. Raphael and Tobit entered Medea and had nearly reached Ecbatana when Raphael said to the boy, Brother Tobias, yes, he answered. The angel went on, Tonight we shall be staying with Ragel, who is a kinsman of yours. He has a daughter called Sarah, but apart from Sarah, he has no other son or daughter. As they entered Ecbatana, Tobias said, Brother Azarius, take me at once to our brother Ragel's. And he showed him the way to the house of Ragel, whom they found sitting beside his courtyard door. They greeted him first, and he replied, Welcome and greetings, brothers. And he took them into his house. He said to his wife Edna, how like my brother Tobit this young man is. Regal killed the sheep from the flock, and they gave them a warm-hearted welcome. They washed and bathed and sat down to table. Then Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Azarius, will you ask Regal to give me my sister Sarah? Regal overheard the words and said to the young man, Eat and drink and make the most of your evening. No one else has the right to take my daughter Sarah. No one but you, my brother. In any case, I, for my part, am not at liberty to give her to anyone else, since you are her next of kin. However, my boy, I must be frank with you. I have tried to find a husband for her seven times among our kinsmen and all of them have died the first evening on going to her room. But for the present, my boy, eat and drink. The Lord will grant you his grace and peace. Tobias spoke out, I will not hear of eating and drinking till you have come to a decision about me. Regal answered, very well. Since, as prescribed by the Book of Moses, she is given to you, heaven itself decrees she shall be yours. I therefore entrust your sister to you. From now you are her brother, and she is your sister. She is given to you from today or forever. The Lord of heaven favor you tonight, my child, and grant you his grace and peace. Regal called for his daughter Sarah, took her by the hand, and gave her to Tobias with these words. 
I entrust her to you, the law and the ruling recorded in the book of Moses, assign her to you as your wife. Take her, take her home to your father's house with a good conscience. The God of heaven grant you a good journey in peace. Then he turned to her mother and asked her to fetch him writing paper. He drew up the marriage contract, how he gave his daughter as bride to Tobias according to the ordinance in the law of Moses. After this, they began to eat and drink. The parents, meanwhile, had gone out and shut the door behind them. Tobias rose from the bed and said to Sarah, Get up, my sister. You and I must pray and petition our Lord to win his grace and his protection. She stood up, and they began praying for protection. And this was how he began. You are blessed, O God of our fathers. Blessed, too, is your name forever and ever. Let the heavens bless you and all things you have made forevermore. It was you who created Adam, you who created Eve, his wife, to be his help and support, and from these two the human race was born. It was you who said, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make him a helpmate like himself. And so I do not take my sister for any lustful motive. I do it in singleness of heart. Be kind enough to have pity on her and on me, and bring us to old age together. And together they said, Amen, Amen, and lay down for the night. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song can be found at 490-49. This is the day, number 449. Jesus and asked him, 
Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said, said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than him. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel that we hear today speak about rules. So I, I'm going to ask you a question to children and to the adults. If the answer is yes, you will dodge your nose. So everybody dodge your nose. If the answer is no, you will dodge your ears. Both, because we have two. Right? So the question is this, have you ever played any game with somebody who doesn't follow the rules? Yes. Could be right. Do you consider or do you think that it's important to follow rules? Okay. Okay. Good. Right. As we are in the last day of the school, I think that uh, children have many rules to follow. But I think that there is one important rule that we as a students have to follow. I would say that the rule is obey and respect your teachers. That is the first rule at school. And the second is like this, be kind and respect your fellow students. How many of you who are in our school think that this rule is important? Yes or no? Mark did it. <laughs> Good job, Mark. So as we are part of a school, it's important to always be ready to obey and respect our teachers, but also to respect and to be kind to each other as we are uh, living a year and sharing life together. That's why Jesus speaks also about rules in this book that we call Bible, right? There are many rules in the Bible that we who believe in Jesus are supposed to follow. But Jesus is speaking today of only two rules that are considered the most important. Does anybody remember which these two rules are? They were mentioned in the Gospel just five minutes ago. <laughs> Which one? Love God with all your heart, strength, and mind. Very good. And the second is like that. Which one is the second one? Love your neighbor like you love yourself. Very good. Do we consider that this rule is important as we are followers of Jesus? Yes or not? 
Told you knows knows for kids. Yes, right? How about the adults? Yes. But I don't see anybody touching their nose. Yes. Okay. That is the most important rule that Jesus wants us to follow. Love God with all our minds, hearts, and strength, right? So let us make that together. Love God with all our minds, touch your heads, with all your heart and soul, and with all your strength, right? And the second is like that, loving our neighbor as ourselves. So let us pray today and ask Jesus that he always help us to follow his rule. When we follow the rules, then we can follow Jesus in the right direction. So Jesus wants us to follow the most important rule, which is loving God with all our minds, hearts, and strength, and loving our neighbors, loving people as we love ourselves. So please rise and let us offer our prayers and intentions to the Father. For the church, for unity among its leaders, and peace among the faithful, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the prophets of peace in the world, and for their message of harmony among all peoples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who are moving to a new job or community, that they might find success and friendship in their new workplace, school, or home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For our community, may travelers have safe journeys this summer season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who suffer the effects of conflict, for an easing of the pain of division and a commitment to healing words and deeds, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the intentions of this Mass, especially for Maria C. Pesquale and Anthony and Bertha Jonas, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. Let us take a moment in silence to present our own needs and intentions in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, hear the prayers we humbly raise in your presence and answer them we ask in accordance with your holy will. We pray in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Please be seated. The song during the presentation of the gifts can be found at 543. I will sing, I will sing, number 543.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our revelations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's rewards through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father Almighty, eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation in Christ Jesus. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You never cease to gather a people to yourself that from the rising of the sun to its end, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make all in these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim Jesus the mystery of faith. second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Lord, we pray upon the blessing of your people and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
Would you bless the apostles and glorious martyrs, with your saints, Saint Hilary and Saint Padre Pio, and with all the saints of this constant session in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. Would your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, with other bishops, all the clergy and deacons, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The song during communion can be found at 814. Taste and see, number 814. <laughs>
After the final blessing, uh, everybody is invited to stay for the kindergarten, kindergarten celebration and the school awards. Let us pray. Notice by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the loving God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master said, Go in peace. The closing song can be found at 512. We are marching and we are singing number 512. Well, what's the other? You have the cheeks. 
You have the chance to fight though. Good morning. Good morning. If any of the preschool parents would like to come up and sit up here in the front um, by the preschoolers, please feel free to do so. And yes, this is our preschool celebration, just to be clear. Good morning and welcome to our 2023 preschool celebration. First and foremost, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to be a part of your child's life and educational journey. Preschool is a magical time where we see the world in a whole new way through the eyes of three, a three or a four year old. This is a very special group. They have grown to be very independent and have developed tight bonds with each other. They are so excited to see each other when they come into the classroom every day. I love seeing how they have embraced structure, rules, and procedures. When I subbed in the preschool class, they were sure to let me know exactly how everything was done, and they made sure that I knew it. They would not let me get away with anything. So I think they actually ran the class for me. And they are definitely a class of fashionistas. The best clothes ever. I wish they made them in adult sizes. I will miss these kiddos over the summer because each one is special and unique and we wouldn't want it any other way. I'd like to thank Mrs. Whitlock. The love you have for your children shines through each and every day. I'm extremely grateful for your dedication to the children and their families. Thank you for your thoughtful planning and the time that you invested in the lives of each and every one of these children. Thank you to the parents. You have raised amazing children. Thank you for sharing them with us, and today we give them back to you. The same child that you confidently entrusted to us last fall. We give them back pounds heavier, inches taller, months wiser, more responsible, and more mature than they were back in the fall. I also want to thank you for your continued dedication and support of St. Hilary School. We are a family because of you. So looking ahead, our children are well prepared to take the next step. They will either enjoy another year in preschool or jump up to kindergarten. But either way, we look forward to watching them grow and flourish. So are they going to do a song first or a slideshow? 
All right, so we're going to take a little walk down memory lane for preschool, so I hope you enjoy the slideshow.
Don't you love those smiles? If you're ever in a bad mood, just go to preschool. Because you really can't be in a bad mood down there. All right. This is Whitlock, are you ready? I'm, I'm about ready. Good morning. This was a great, great group of children this year in preschool. We were like a little family and we had so much fun together. Right, guys? Yeah. Yes. And our faith partners are wonderful too. Helped us all year. Uh, some of their favorite things to do listening to Kids Bop. And they loved playing Candyland and they loved learning. They were very curious and always asking questions. They really like to find out how things were made and how food was made. So we watched a lot of Unwrapped so they can tell you about how everything's made now. So at this time, we're going to present certificates for all of their hard work this year. Faith Partners, remember you will escort them up, stand up there with them so they can get their recognition. First up, he's a bit of a rock star around here. Every time we walk down the hall, I hear, it's Chuck, it's Chuck. So, Chuck Casey, come on up. someone who she could run the classroom for me she always knew what to do and she loved cleaning up and organizing when the leprechaun came to visit our room and left a big mess of glitter the first thing she did was get out the little broom and just start cleaning it up she said I do not like messes and I loved her facial expressions you could always tell how she's feeling just by looking at her face Layla Jimenez We have someone that was just so sweet all the time and always wanted to help everybody and took good care of our younger students and our new students. And she was very fashionable too, always had cute dresses on and loved uniforms. Sophia, come on up. Next, we have someone who always wore the cutest dresses. And I always said, oh, I wish that, that like Mrs. Donovan said, I wish that came to my size. And she has come such a long way this year, and I'm so happy she was in my class, and she'll be with me next year. Zoe Vaughn! someone who joined us a little bit later in the year but she fit right in and she is so happy to be making new friends and she has a great laugh and every time she gets the giggles she just lights up the room Emily Emily Gwen come on up Are they 
not adorable or what? And the faith partners, faith, fifth grade faith partners have been so amazing with them this year. They really have taken on more of a brother, sister role, and we thank them for everything that they've done for them. Uh, parents, I know you want to take some pictures, so we're going to give you a couple minutes to get some pictures taken. So we used these for our graduates last Friday, so I thought it would be appropriate that we used it for our oldest cardinals and we used them for our youngest cardinals. So parents, if you want to take a few more pictures, and then we will continue on. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, big partners. You can escort them back to their seats. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just want to end with a little poem. So I really enjoyed being their teacher this year and taking good care of them. Although I am not their parent, I care for them each day. I cuddle, sing, and read to them and watch them as they play. I see each new accomplishment and help them grow and learn. They come to me for comfort. I soothe away their tears. They proudly show their work to me. I give the loudest cheers. No, I am not their parent, but my role is just as strong. I know someday the time will come when we may have to part, but I know each child I have cared for is forever in my heart. Thank you very much. Can we please give Mrs. Midlock a huge round of applause? I love that we had um, changed the preschool celebration where we can all be together um, as we celebrate our youngest cardinals taking flight. And now we're going to move on to our older cardinals. So congratulations, cardinals, on a successful school year. Your hard work, dedication, perseverance have paid off, and you should be proud of your accomplishments. I want to thank you for your positive attitudes and contributions to St. Hilary and for making this a memorable year. I also want to acknowledge the dedication and never-ending efforts of our teachers and staff who have worked tirelessly to help you succeed. As we end the school year and prepare for the next, I encourage you to continue to learn and grow, both academically and personally. And now we will recognize some of your achievements. So if I could please have Dr. Kadeshian come up for our choir awards.
When I call your name, could you please come up to get your award? Remain on the altar, and parents, if we can wait till they're all up here and then show our acknowledgement, I would really appreciate it. So, Valentina Dominguez. Did I say that wrong? Valentina, where are you, my love? There she is. Katrina Hench. Come on up, Katrina. Come on. Come on. Isaiah. Is Isaiah with us today? Okay. Uh, Aiden Hernandez. Michelle Machuca. Will Kilroy. Asayel Machuca. Katie Harrell. Bill Mooney. Ellie Harrell. JJ Olanisha. Edward Hench. Jasmine Machuca. Kaden Orabello. And Vincent Pham. So they are the ones that provide the beautiful music for us every Wednesday. I know we enjoy it. I know the parishioners enjoy it. So can we please give them a big round of applause? Thank you. All right, kiddos, you can go find your seats. You'll be up here again for something else, I'm sure. The teachers have created their own special awards that they would like to present to their class. So we can start with kindergarten, Ms. Tovar, please come forward. Our awesome artist award goes to Chrisley Garcia. Our heroic helper goes to Luke Yukana. Our caring classmate goes to Diego Aguilar. Our speedy reader goes to Brandon Nguyen. Our goal getter goes to Lorraine Ocampo. Our schedule specialist goes to Mia Panarar Garcia. Our wonderful worker goes to Tyler Dillon. Our super sweetheart goes to Julia Paco. Our fabulous fashionista goes to Catalina Sasso. And last but not least, our dancing king goes to Oliver Tran.
It's not like the cutest thing ever. Miss Deacon, first grade. Here we go. Matthew Danka for Top Technologist. Liam Estrella for warmest welcomer, the best hugs too. <laughs> Nico Giannakis for class comedian. Brian Ho for Handwriting Superstar. Aubrey Kennedy for Role Model Rockstar. Sophia Medina for Always Giving a Helping Hand. Lillian Mooney for Outstanding Observer. James Wen for Superstar Storyteller. Nicole Wen for Compliment Captain. Alexa Oseguera for Amazing Artists. And last, but certainly not least, Eric Fan for Marvelous Mathematician. Way to go, first grade. Our Helping Hands Award goes to Lucas Smith. Our Exceptional Effort Award goes to Lorenzo Rivera.
Our Reading Rock Star Award goes to Crystal Garcia. Our Fabulous Friend Award goes to Liliana Hernandez. Our Powerful Perseverance goes, Award goes to Olivia Tran. Our Super Sweetheart Award goes to AJ Frias. Our Lovable Leader Award goes to Ella Yukana. Our Fabulous Fashionista Award, award goes to Paris Q. Our Contagious Curiosity Award was, goes to Declan Alba. Our Caring Classmate Award goes to Nara Cincuentes, Cinque, I'm sorry. Our role model rock star award goes to Kamana Tran. And last but not least, our class comedian award goes to Joseph Barsha. Way to go, second grade. Okay, I think the paparazzi's done. <laughs> this is on Sunny. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm trying not to yap too much up here. I like to talk. Um, third grade, they're just the sweetest, and we had a great year. It was so hard to pick an award for each one of them because so many of them apply to a lot of the kids in the classroom. But we had fun with the awards, and they were just a really sweet group of kids to teach this year. They learned so much, and they made me smile every single day. Um, my super storyteller award for always having something interesting to tell me each day goes to Valentina Dominguez. Um, for always being so kind and helpful and just taking each day in stride. My brilliant behavior goes to Emma Aguilar.
for working with others and always being kind. Uh, my Nice Neighbor Award goes to Jessaloba, Olanisha. For making great strides this year and always working hard. My Great Growth Award goes to Camden Jacob, CJ Tan. through each day. Just a very, very sweet young boy. Uh, my Caring Classmate Award goes to Sargas Danka. And a wonderful smile. Right, Sargas? Always working hard. Um, doing his best each day on his assignments. My wonderful worker award goes to Sharbel Suleiman. Um, each day, really working through his assignments, doing his best all the time and putting a great effort into anything. My Exceptional Effort Award for Samir Bagley. I keep telling them to smile for you guys. Are they smiling? Yeah. Um, for reminding me of being responsible all the time, my royally responsible award goes to Takashi Matsunaga. For working through all his problems, and I can just see his little brain moving, it's wonderful to watch. My thrilling thinker award goes to Logan Wong. And check out that suit. It looks good. Love that. His sister is always in preschool. Right? For forever helping me with my computer, I would call him in the middle of the day and be like, "Why is my font so big? What's going on?" And he'd be like, "Just press a button and fix it for me." I had no idea. My top technologist award goes to Frankie Holiday. Thank you, Frankie. The class thanks you, too. Or we would have been looking at things in 48 font for the whole year. Just a good boy, um, as they all are. I know I say that about all of them, but just, I couldn't decide on these awards. Um, doing the right thing all the time. Uh, my role model rock star award goes to Adrian DeLeon. You have wonderful children, by the way. <laughs> and my one third grader who finished and stayed with it and worked so hard and did not give up and I just had a great year in Battle of the Books, which is phenomenal. Um, my reading rock star award goes to Katrina Hutch. And there you have them, third grade, everybody. I love seeing their faces just beaming as they're coming up. All right, Sunshine, you can find this one. This is you in.
We had a great year in fourth grade. Uh, we've got a lot of talented, gifted, uh, really fun kids in fourth grade. We had a great year. Um, if I could give an award to the whole class, and one day when they're famous for their humming ability, you all get that award for sure. Best hummers. We'll start with our Super Scientist Award. This is going to Hazel Hill for thinking like a scientist by sharing predictions and knowledge of science with your class. The Exceptional Effort Award goes to Katie Haro for consistently taking great time and showing excellent effort to produce neat and accurate work. Our, one of the new members of our class this year who came from a whole other country and had to learn a new language and make new friends. Emmanuel Garzon Ramirez gets the Homework Hero Award for consistently completing and returning homework on time throughout the year. Our Wonderful Worker Award goes to Valerie Das for being an independent and focused student who completed tasks in a timely manner. Our Powerful Perseverance Award is going to be presented to Emily Negron for having a growth mindset, working hard, and demonstrating a positive attitude toward learning, even when facing a challenge. Our Royally Responsible Award is presented to Brianne Raffal for being an example to others in our class of how to be responsible, kind, active, and participating in cooperative students. Our Perfect Partner Award is going to Noah Yakub for working with a variety of classmates, listening to their ideas and opinions, sharing his knowledge, and giving encouragement to successfully complete a task. The Rising Star Award is going to be presented to Rochelle Machuka for reaching her eye ready growth goals in both reading and math. Our Fabulous Friend Award is going to Mila Leon, who is also new to our school this year, for sharing a smile, positive words, and being friendly to everyone in our class. Our word wizard is Will Kilroy for having a vast vocabulary and being able to explain what new words mean to others. Our master mathematician is Adon Hernandez for showing a knack with numbers and using new skills and strategies to solve math problems this year. Good job, fourth graders. This is Donnelly, it's your turn. Fifth grade. I'm really going to miss you next year. Every day, I look forward to being in school with you. This is one class that's so memorable that I actually might cry at the last day of school. Thank you for being such a wonderful group. <clears throat> now to the awards. 
for soaring through math standards for high achievement in math. The math mastery award goes to Braden Ruffall. For superb knowledge of American history and American government, the American History Professor Award goes to Elbron Lazar. Like Mrs. Ansani, I also have a go-to guy for technology. My go-to guy to fix everyday technology issues with ease, the Technology Pro and Creative Tech Thinker Award goes to Brandon LaVilla. For outstanding ability to blend artistic talent with faith values, the Caring Heart, and Art with Heart Award, and for a great achievement in winning an Archdiocesan Award at the beginning of the year in a contest uh, based on how God is present in your life. This award goes to Vincent Duong. For heartwarming ability to show compassion for others, the Walking in Someone Else's Moccasins Empathy Award goes to Olivia Bernard. For amazing ability to make connections across subjects, the Incredible Imagination Award goes to Thomas Lee. For outstanding contribution to class discussion in all subject areas, the Walking Encyclopedia of Knowledge Award goes to Billy Mooney. For success in finding the voice for great project presentations, the Effective Presenter Award goes to Anderson Tran. Consistent effort resulting in greatly improved comprehension, the Perseverance Pays Off Award goes to Taylor Gwen. And I know I've never done this award before, okay? Chloe, I've never done this award before. Best Actress in a Leading Role as Phoebe Winterbottom. Oh. Character Role Playing Theater Award goes to Chloe Gwen. Thank you, fifth grade. I have to tell you a little backstory. So Chloe has gotten a kindness award for like the last three years. I told Mrs. Donnelly, do not give me the kindness award. Even though she is. Way to go fifth grade, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Fullerberg, he's ready. Here he comes. <laughs> Let's do this. Sixth grade, 
Uh, actually, sixth grade is a wonderful personality filled class this year, and there's many great awards in here. Um, a fair few of which are just their particularly wonderful ways of making fun of me from day to day. But there are plenty of others as well. So our Hidden Talents and Master Chef Award goes to Tian Nguyen. It's a big class, we're gonna hold our applause to the end, right? Uh, for keeping track of everyone's assignments and making sure the class runs smoothly, our Group Mom Award goes to Isabel Mudke. If I ever need to know where he's been, I can just look for his water bottle, like a little trail of breadcrumbs. Our Hansel and Gretel Award goes to JJ Olenisha. For an incredible ability to stay focused and on task and lead during group work, our Group Leader Award goes to Adamo Onyokoro. Every student shows their strengths in different sorts of assignments throughout the school year. And if you want to find a student who will really show you her stuff in written assignments, our Excellent Writer Award goes to Genesis Perez. It takes a lot of uh, bravery and composure to get up in front of not just a class, but an entire school and read from a microphone. And not only does this student do it well for a sixth grader, he does it well for an adult. Our, and so for reading at mass so consistently and excellently, our Reader's Award goes to Calvin Pham. Uh, this next award, I could not figure out which of the two students uh, was more deserving, so I've got two of them. Sixth grade is a year of geography and social studies, learning about maps and uh, different parts of the world. And the two who most extraordinarily, ex ex extraordinarily um, shined in their map skills get the geography award, and that's going to be Kieran Alba and Andy Nelson. Pull out a map, point to any country, and ask them what it is they will put on a show for you. It's going to be great. For a student whose natural ability to be uh, a protector and big brother and leader to those who are younger than him, or also to make sure he's taking care of any of his peers who are sick or in a rough place, um, our Big Brother Award goes to Sebastian Arellano. There's really only one phrase that came to mind when I thought of this next student. To Matthew Dang, our LeBron James Award. <laughs> While it wasn't always my most favorite trait when we were trying to get the class on track, it's going to be an awesome trait for his friends and for everyone he shares the rest of his life with. Our Contagious Laugh Award goes to David Downs. For being able to stare me down in all sorts of situations, our Side Eye Award goes to Evan DeLeon. <laughs> We're consistently having a new catchphrase for just about each month of the school year. Most recently, it's impossible and that's bullying. Our catchphrase award goes to Juan Garzón Ramirez. It takes a lot of courage to get up here and sing in our choir in front of the whole school every mass. It takes even more courage to get up and do it from the microphone as our soloist, so our Cantor Award goes to uh, 
uh, Ellie Poirot. Under the leadership of Mrs. Donnelly, this sixth grade has quite a few excellent leaders, uh, especially as evidenced by their performance in the Battle of the Books this year. But one rises above the rest, our Bookworm Award goes to Edward Hedge. This next student is responsible for at least half of the nicknames bestowed onto me during the latter half of this school year, and I can't thank him enough for it, really. Our nickname award, Noel Enriquez Alfaro. For honing her eye for design and for critiquing my outfits every morning in the parking lot, our fashion critic award goes to Taylor Olympia. <laughs> for his love of sports, and all things athletic are athlete award, Ryan Julio. For never failing to show kindness and never ever walking into our room with anything but a sweet demeanor about her and the most excellent handwriting I've ever seen of any sixth grader ever. Our handwriting and kindness awards are both going to Emma Matsunaga. Joining a new school halfway through the year and fitting in excellently with all different members of the class, our Adaptability Award goes to Sanjay Nagamadi, who is not here today, right? Oh, that's good. Um, and for, oh, I got one extra one uh, for someone who will come back to the pack and uh, see the light one day, our Future Spartans of America Award goes to Andy Nelson. You'll be happier, trust me. Um, it's been a wonderful uh, few months, sixth grade. Thank you for, in a lot of different ways, being a great group to hang out with. Way to go, sixth grade. of Kleenex by the end of the day. <laughs> so, um, I also teach, or I taught, I guess now, English language arts and reading to junior high, to the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students. Um, these awards are actually idiom awards, so I thought that was really cute. All right, so our Eager Beaver Award for always wanting to help. The student is always an eager helper. Well, so Jasmine Machuca. Our piece of the pie award for always making things look easy. This student always has a good attitude and makes tasks appear as easy as pie. This award goes to Kate Norbello. Our next award is the early bird award. This kid has zero absences. I can always count on this kid for being early to class. 
You can always count on the student to be on time to get the work. This is Paul Trina. Our next award is Have a Ball Award. This student makes every day a great time. With this student around, you can always count on the class being a lot of fun. And that goes to Graham Stevenson. This next award is the Get Cracking Award. We're always starting immediately. This student gets cracking right away. This award goes to Emma Vargas. This is the Honey Award. This award goes to a student for always knowing the right thing to say. You can always count on the student to say something polite and flattering at just the right time. Man, I need it all the time. This goes to Danae Barrett. This next award is Walking on Air. I've had this student for three years now, been here three years. Um, the student it has been consistent with this. Always having a great attitude. You can always count on the student's happiness to make you feel like you're walking on air. Nathan Tran, you always make me feel like I'm walking on air. This next award is the Salt of the Earth Award for being a dependable friend. Without this student's friendship, life would be bland. This goes to Vincent Pham. This next award is the Rib Tickler Award for being great at telling jokes. This student keeps everyone laughing and having a great time. This goes to our big bucket man, Callum Hill. This next award is the Pearl of Wisdom Award. This kid always has great advice. You can always count on the student to know what to do. Darren Tabanero. He's always saying, Mrs. Koo, we should, we should, we should. And I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe we'll do that. The next award is the Jack of All Trades Award. This student deserves it. For being good at everything you do. This student is good at everything he sets out to accomplish, and that would be Sebastian Cortell. This next award is the I Am The Prize Award for being good at everything you do as well. This student is also good at everything he sets out to accomplish. That's Mr. Aiden Vegan. Oh, I, I love this award. This is the Big Heart Award for being kind and sympathetic. This student really does have a huge heart and she cares about everyone. This is a student I've also had three years. This is Madeline Aguilar. This next student I had two years. Eyes on the Ball Award for staying focused on the task at hand. This student is not easily distracted and keeps his eye on the ball until he is done. Eat them win. This next award is You Can Say That Again Award for always having the right answer. You can count on the student to answer questions correctly. Sometimes I can't always call a list. Natalie Garcia. This next award is a really good one. Wreck Your Brain Award for always thinking hard in class. This <coughs> student never stops trying to solve tough problems. We love kids to do that. Anthony Trong. This next award is the Feel at Home Award. This student brought someone to our classroom, and I'm so grateful she did. This is the Feel at Home Award for helping others feel comfortable. They, have, they all helped me feel comfortable last year. 
This student is great at helping others to feel at home and comfortable in the surrounding. That will be Layla Charles. This next award, the student is not here, but I still want to acknowledge him. He's also our soccer star of St. Hillary. It's the Have a Blast Award, and I truly believe my class will agree with me. This person always makes class time fun. This student takes every opportunity to have a laugh. It's like your camp compost, and he's not here. And this last award, I wanted to say this one for last because I have some additional things to say. This award is our Better Homes Award for making difficult situations easier. This student is always able to make the most out of every circumstance, turning difficult tasks into a better roses for everyone involved. This student also made the top one, was it top? One hundred. Top one hundred on Do the Right Thing contest. She was the only seventh grader. So she got to have a dinner with Mrs. Donovan and myself and lots of students, 100 students. So this award goes to Shelly Matanuga. Thank you, seventh grade parents and students for me having the best class in this worked feverishly and tirelessly and brought our school to many, many championship roles with Battle of the Books. Now she's going to come on up and give some awards up. Thank you to all the participants this year, we won again, sixth year in a row. Congratulations, Battle of the Books team. These kids met weekly from, uh, or bi-weekly from October until May when we held the championship. So they did a lot of reading. And I would like to acknowledge all of them right now. Reading Achievement Certificate, Anthony Trong, Callum Hill, Danae Garrett, Will Kilroy, oh, and I have one for your sister too. Allison, are you here? Come on up, Allison. She graduated already, but she didn't get her certificate yet. She got her pin, right? I would like to, um, the people that I'm about to read off were also on the winning championship team. Emma Matsunaga, 
Katrina Hunch. Hazel Hill. Adan Hernandez. Michelle Machuca. Karen Alba. Edward Hunch. Noel Enriquez Alfaro. Before I hand out the last two certificates, um, I want to give special recognition to two people. I couldn't have done it without these two. Not only did they come to book club meetings, um, write questions, create cahoots, act as leaders, but they did this weekly. One of the students read all 30 books twice. So they were fantastic leaders. And so in addition to the certificate, I also have a Barnes and Noble card for you to pick out some books to start reading for next year. Okay, so these two special awards go to Billy Mooney and Natalie Garcia. ask you to stand. Stand up. So seventh grade was kind of like the mailman this year. Through rain, sleet, snow, hot, cold. They were outside morning and after school to make sure that the rest of our children got to school safely. So they are our patrol and they are now the new leaders of our school. So let's please give them a big hand. certificates in your classroom. Mrs. Kuhn has them, okay? All right. Mr. Perlberg, can you come on up? Thank you, Mrs. Donovan. Uh, all Illinois students, in order to graduate both high school and middle school, are required to study and pass examinations on the federal and state constitutions. I'm pleased to say that uh, our seventh graders spent much of the third trimester studying hard on both the federal and state and city governments, and these certificates are for those who have passed their exam and are uh, all set for their state requirements. Madeline Aguilar? Nate Barrett, Edgar Campos, Sebastian Cortel, Natalie Garcia, Callum Hill.
Jasmine Chuka. Shelly Matsunaga. Shelly Matsunaga. Ethan Nguyen. Aiden Orbello. One week out and we'll forget all the rules. Layla Charles. Graham Stevenson. Darren Tavernero. Paul Tran. Anthony Tron. Emma Vargas. Aiden Vigal. Congratulations. Mr. Jennings has some special physical education awards to give out. Before I get started, um, I was in charge of 7th grade patrol. Parents, thank you so much um, for getting your children here on time. Um, I understood if they were late. They're very forgiving, I understand. 6th uh, grade parents, be ready for that next year. Alright, now on to the youth awards. Every year, the students from grades 3 through 8 run the PACER test. Um, if you don't know the PACER test, it's a cardiovascular endurance test that also tests the students' grit. Students run the PACER every semester with the goal of beating their score each time. Students use workouts in class to better their cardiovascular endurance and have the goal of beating their old scores set from the moment the new school year begins. Each year, the PACER Dominance Award is given to the top five PACER test scores in the entire school. This award is meant to showcase students who take their physical fitness to a higher level and highlights their fantastic goal settings ability. This year, the top five runners were sixth graders, uh, Juan and Evan, 7th graders Darren, and then the highest score in the whole school went to 7th grader uh, Aiden Vigan with a 92, so come on up. Good work this year. The fifth one was Kaylee when she was uh, she got hers on uh, graduation night. Go ahead and see you guys next. Now the pace or dominance award is something measurable, right? You run the race, you get your score, high score wins. Okay, um, something that cannot be measured but also uh, needs to be recognized as leadership. We are always talking about how the most fun wins in my class, and that's something that I truly believe. Um, a couple students this year have gone above and beyond in not only being a great example of having fun no matter what they are doing, um, but and also being a great leader for the whole class to look at. Um, these students have done such a tremendous job of being leaders for their classes. Um, this is Dusty. He, uh, he's my co-teacher. Um, he doesn't get paid though, but uh, that's, that's a whole other deal. Um, I had to make an award for these students. I've never done this before, but these two students have gone above and beyond. I cannot stress this enough how amazing they've been and how much they deserve this. So um, this year, the Dusty Award for Outstanding Leadership 
goes to second grader Ella Yukana and sixth grader Calvin Pham. following certificates to our altar service this year. Karen Alba, David Davalos, Natalie Garcia, Edward Hench, Ryan Julio, Anthony Traub, who is a rock star. Anthony will volunteer every Wednesday. When he comes to Mass on Sunday, if there's not altar servers, he will step up and serve. Thank you, Anthony. You are truly showing what it means to serve. Aiden Began, Tian Gwen, Caden Morabello, <laughs> Graham Stevenson, Darren Tabanero, Paul Tran, Will Kilroy, And Michelle Machuca. Please remember that although you're out of school for the summer, church is still open. So as Father mentioned, if you are at Mass, please come and serve if you see no one up here. So thank you, altar servers. Each year, the principal award is given to two seventh grade students for their academic achievement, cooperative relationships with faculty, Christian attributes, and leadership qualities. This year, those two students are Emma Vargas and Paul Tran. their education and move along to high school and today we must also give some of our teachers their wings to continue their journeys away from St. Hillary. And if you read the Wednesday envelope, you know who they are. Can I please have the following teachers stand? Ms. Tovar, 
Mr. Jennings, Mr. Prilberg, and Ms. Deegan. So, I know it's very sad. Ms. Tovar and Mr. Jennings have moved a little further away from St. Hillary, and if you know Chicago traffic, you know it is not always easy to get around. So they will be moving along to schools that are closer to their homes. We are very grateful for the years. Ms. Uh, Tovar has been here for two years, and Mr. Jennings has been here for five. They have made great impressions on all of us, and we will miss them a lot. So. traveler, so she's only been with us a year, but when I interviewed her via Zoom, she was, of course, in another country. So she is going to be moving to Europe to teach English there, but she's not moving till like January, so we are going to scoop her up as a sub until she leaves. So we'll be able to have her around for a little bit longer, but we are extremely sad to see her go. And she said she would stay if she could do a field trip to Europe. So, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> so, we will miss her, she has been a blast, and we have been so fortunate to have this year with her, so thank you. <laughs> now, Mr. Kluerberg, I'm gonna give you two years and you're gonna be back. <laughs> so he was here, and then he left us, and then I sucked him back in, and. Now he's moving back to the high school level to teach music, but never fear, I will not lose track of him. So, if we see him again, don't be surprised, and he's always welcome back. So we wish you all the best, and thank you for helping us. I hope that all four of you know that um, we're gonna miss you a lot. You are always a part of our family, and like I always say, once a cardinal, always a cardinal. Please stay in touch, you will always be in our heart. So, as we leave today, my wish for all of you is that you have a relaxing, safe summer with family and friends. I wish that you make wonderful memories, share special times. Remember that the school year marks the beginning of a new chapter in your life, full of endless opportunities and possibilities. So congratulations to all of you. Our amazing Family School Association is having a wonderful treat for us in the parking lot, the Kona Ice Truck. I don't know if it's here yet. But hopefully, it's got about a half an hour to get here. Hopefully, it will be here soon. So please make sure that you are there um, to enjoy, to talk, to mingle, and to um, thank our amazing teachers. You guys, they do not get enough credit. They definitely do not get enough money, for sure. But please, parents, take the time, kids, take the time to thank your teachers because you truly have the best of the best here and um, can't thank them enough. So thank you, all of you. Have a great summer.